Hey, what is up guys? Thank you so much for joining us. Today is day 31 in a month of metal. Yes, finally done. Uh, if I do this again next year, I'm doing this shit in February. All right, so I'm bringing my daughter on today, Liv, because the band we're talking about today is Ice Nine Kills, and that is one of her favorite bands, right? Mm -hmm. um, all right, so... Well, before we even get into them, I was just thinking, man, my parents, your grandparents, hated my music. Um, absolutely hated it. Uh, probably good reason. If you guys have watched the other videos, <laughs> you can see what I listened to and understand maybe why they didn't like it. I think that's one of the cool things with you is we've been able to share music, uh, even when your tastes are a little bit outside of mine, uh, as long as they're only a little. Uh, it's totally fine. I mean, you could listen to whatever. It's just kind of cool that it worked out that we like some of the same stuff. Um, and, uh, like, do you still listen to Iron Maiden or Five Finger Death Punch or Five any... Finger Death Punch you listen okay. to quite a bit. I was guessing you don't listen to Maiden anymore. That's okay. All right, well, let's stick with Ice Nine Kills. So, why do you like them? When did, when did you first hear them? Uh, and... What was the song that like really grabbed your attention, or was it was it a video, was it a visual, or did you just hear the song on the radio? Um, it was quite a video. I don't remember time at all, mm -hmm. but um, it was on the radio. Probably on Liquid yeah. Metal. From their new album. Okay. Probably American Nightmare. I don't know. So what did you like about them? Because for me, some of their stuff. I, th I think some of the stuff I heard was a little screamy and is a little intense. Uh, certain parts are really melodic, which I like a lot. Um, but for you, what what would you say is the main attraction of the band? Um, probably just the theatrical part of it. You like the the theatrics? Um, now, if they didn't have all... But on the radio, you didn't see that stuff. Well, it's not really... Just like the theatrical oh. of the music. Well, also the, um, what's it called? However you see the theatrics, it's cool. Oh, okay. But in the music, it's also like very out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. All right. Got it. Awesome. Now, one cool little thing we did. Uh, we got you the tickets to the Silver Stream, right? So you just saw that what, two nights ago? Yes. Um I wasn't sure how it was going to be watching stuff, because uh, that's one thing that sucked with COVID. We had tickets to Aftershock and all these other concerts, uh, so I didn't know how it was going to be watching it online, but you came down and you were pretty excited about it, so uh, why did you like it so much? What, what, what was cool about it? Well, um, the concert was really cool, just uh, the music, like maybe even better than the um, recorded stuff and just the way they filmed it all and even outside of the concert like the um, story part of it mm -hmm. was really cool how they did that that's awesome um, now what do you have any favorite songs do you do you like their older stuff better than the new stuff the newer stuff better what uh, are there any do you have any favorites um, well, I like their n n newer two albums, because mm -hmm. those are the more theatrical ones, but one of my favorite songs is probably from their earlier-ish stuff, um, The Greatest Story Ever Told, mm -hmm. which is really cool, and um, from their other album, Every Trick in the Book, um, the Jekyll and Hyde one, Me, Myself, and Hyde, and the... Um, Nature of the Beast, which is Animal Farm, are really good. Awesome. It's my favorites. And that's one super cool thing about them is they've led you to go read some books, right? <laughs> I've read a few books because of them. Yeah, so that's super awesome. Um, and it's been that way with me, like uh, Anthrax. They had some Stephen King uh, so story songs about Stephen King books uh, that turn me on to him and so it's always cool when music can lead you to literature so i definitely dig that um all right anything else you want to say about them not really not really um, just that they should do a, a try not to die song that's what uh i think spencer try not to die that'd be perfect uh my daughter would love it i would love it uh, <laughs> yeah you would that'd be sure. awesome sure yeah why not 
All right, guys, we're going to wrap this up. She's got stuff to do. I've got stuff to do. The month of metal is over. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, but thanks for watching. All right, guys, stay metal. Later.